bit of a drive through video as we've just passed Slimmer and entered St. Julian's. You can see the lovely Carmelite Church here that we've passed on Baluta Bay. This is being filmed by Brenda from the car, so we apologise for any bumps and a dirty windscreen and a bit of uh, car interior. Uh, the iconic City of London bar, not a good day to be out there because the wind is blowing straight in. And this morning, which is Saturday 13th of May, there are very strong winds in Malta. This would be the worst day weather-wise since we've been here in the last week. And there are some very, very big seas rolling in. We've just filmed a couple of videos at Slima that we will also be uploading, but we'll spread these out a bit, not to bombard you. And this is the strip here, the Esplanade of St. Julian's, and we're now entering into uh, one of my favourites, Spinola Bay. We've spent a lot of time here over the years. Before we um, settled in Moscala, we used to rent an apartment uh, owned by a mate of mine, which was just here on the left. These are beautiful apartments. If anyone wants to stay in Spinola, they're right here. Where the Perry Real Estate Agency is, just above here. And as you can see on the right, uh, this is right on Spinola Bay, overlooking the bay, all the restaurants across the bay and so on. As I mentioned during the week when I was here filming, it was also a rough morning, that morning weather was. But this area is always under construction, always being developed. And it's just something that everyone lives with. Like many areas in Malta, it's quite old and a lot of stuff has to be um, refurbished or redeveloped or rebuilt. Um, I've seen a number of buildings that have just collapsed, fallen apart. Sticky Fingers Barbecue right there on the left. Fantastic ribs and a magnificent tomahawk steak. So we're heading up the rise here, Spinola Bay on our right. The restaurants, Lauren Fitch, Raphael, Gululu, they're all up here on the right. Easy walking from anywhere. We are heading into the sort of Parcheville area because we are lunching with cousins today at the Avenue restaurant, which has been redone as well. So maybe not an area that too many people are familiar with as we go up the hill here and now we're getting into Parcheville which is still a region of St. Julian's of course. Now Parcheville is really being redeveloped. Uh, there is buildings here everywhere and I'm not going to hide from the fact and I'm not going to show it to you. You can see construction, you can see the Portomaso Hilton just peeking over there on the right. Um, but there is construction everywhere here and it was needed and look if you're going to go high rises and stuff Port Amasso is the place for it the avenue is in there in the, yeah but I'm going to go around a bit um, because this is the nightlife entertainment hub of Malta and much of what is going on is now centering around what you're about to see which is this huge Mercury Tower Complex whether you love it or hate it that's your opinion which everyone is entitled to some say it's not fitting for Malta uh, some say if it's going to be anywhere it needs to be in Malta some say it's beautiful it's a work of art an architectural uh, masterpiece others say it is hideous for Malta but that's the beauty of uh, people being allowed to express an opinion. I don't spend time in Parcheville. Are you allowed this way? No. One way. Okay, I'm going up a one way road apparently. Uh, okay, sorry about the pause, but uh, construction zone here, we were right under the Mercury Tower and I went into a one way street inadvertently until a fellow driver quickly pointed that I'm going the wrong way. Now, I haven't been here this trip. This is all new to me. It's all being rebuilt. You can see Parcheville. It's being rebuilt. As <laughs> There's no other way to say it. The whole village here is being rebuilt. Uh, 
which way do the avenue does it say? Around. Yep. Trying to get you a nice view of everything happening. Now this Mercury complex, apparently, um, it's you know it's going to have a go kart track inside it, uh, restaurants, cinemas, all sorts of wonderful things. It's going to be huge when it's done. At the moment, it is a major construction zone, and I know a lot of people don't like that stuff, and they feel that it's unfitting for here, but. It is what it is. If you're going to have it anywhere, it needs to be here, put it that way. Alright, so, uh, a lot of us would remember Parcheville and walking up these streets during our younger years, perhaps. A few big nights on the town. Um, certainly bringing back memories for me. Good old Maxims. Many a time I've had a slice of pizza right here at 3am in the morning for one euro couple of friendly gentlemen there showing us their uh, souvenirs. Which way am I going? Let's see. Okay. Ah, uh, lovely. Parcheville. Just a buzz of activity. And it's just here, on the corner. Righto. So I hope you're enjoying this. This place is not for everyone. As I said, I haven't been in here for my last few trips. Yeah. Um, but we're going to have lunch here today. And it looks pretty good. It's all I need now. It's a car spot. It's a car park. That'll make me very, very happy. It's all closed. It's all closed. Is this new or is that the new avenue? Anyway. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. Alright guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this little driving tour. We're going to turn off now and look for a car spot. With a stroke of luck, we'll find one here. This is um, one of the more difficult places to get a car park. But uh, anyway, I hope you'll enjoy this when we upload it. It probably won't be today because I've got a couple of others. Um, I want to spread the content. Talk to you later on. Bye-bye.